Gentlemen, welcome back to the grind. I'm a little unhappy. <laughs> I'm being honest. I just lost to this. Oh look, free knight. Just kidding. Free queen, resign. Let's see if we can do better. <laughs> We're back at uh, 7.58. I continue to lose to cheesy openings. Uh, here we go again. Let's see if I learned anything this time. Let's see if the dark square bishop comes out. How does this happen two games in a row? <laughs> if I get the dark... Okay. All right. <laughs> good. 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 I'm going to attack the queen next. If I lose this game, I'm officially tilted, and I'm just going to go... Uh... I'm going to go take a break. Okay. See how this goes. Okay. Okay. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. I can't believe I lost that cheesy opening last game. I'll just mess up his pawns. Developing moves. Okay. Just going to develop my pieces. I'm not even going to think about it too hard. I'm just going to develop. <laughs> Just develop the pieces and everything will be okay. That's what they say at least, right? Okay. The opponent's giving me some space, so I almost wonder if like c4 is viable at this point. I'd like to just pluck the knight off, but I don't know. c4 seems okay. Okay. Maybe I should try to develop my bishop onto b2 instead. Hmm. Hmm. If he wants to take, I'll just take with the queen. It's fine. I'll probably go back to h5. Oh, I'm shocked. I am shooketh. Hmm. Maybe I should attack. Seems like a nice piece to go after. I don't know.
just going to get the queen out and at least have the option to connect the rooks if need be. Everything's still protected. Uh, I'm going to try to attack his bishop out here on e6 next. Okay, so he fixed his situation. So his bishop's defended by something else now. Um, I'll just go ahead and put a rook out. Sort of on a nice file. And then we have one more developing move to play. And then we can start thinking about trading pieces off. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't say. Okay, how do I punish this? Could always block in, but I don't know. The pawn here seems a little weak sauce. Probably just move it away, huh? Either move it back. Protect the knight. Probably just protect the knight. I want to develop the knight, but I want to attack this bishop at the same time. Hmm. I don't really want to block the dark square bishop in so much, though, but... I have d5 with the knight next. Seems like a decent square. Gonna be looking for some kind of trickery. I think he's gonna be looking for a pawn sack or a bishop sack here. So if I put my knight out onto h4, I'm only gonna have the pawn to protect. To defend uh, h3. So I don't really want to put the knight on h4. So I think he's going to look for the sack. And then I think he's going to be trying to put his queen down here on g4. So I'd kind of like to protect these squares. I mean, I can either just move a king. 
thinking about h2 just adding one more defender to h3 um i don't think i have another way to add a defender to h3 at the moment um i know it looks crazy but whatever We'll find out if that was the play or not later. Kind of want to put my rook back on the same file as this queen here. I like knight e5 targeting his bishop, but it's going to be too easy for him to just tuck that in on my king's side. Okay. I mean, we can trade off here. I don't really want to go knight d5 anymore. That sort of opens up and exposes the rook. I'm just going to pressure his light square bishop here. It's my least favorite of all his pieces at the moment. Right. Uh, maybe there's hope. Oh, I'm blind. You know what? I meant to do that. I, I was just setting it up for the fork. <laughs> Could I have done that without deleting the knight? Yes. Is it more exciting to do it this way? Also, yes. <laughs> hmm. Way more exciting this way. Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with my head. Why I can't see the most simplest things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the answer is. <laughs> well, these pawns are putting in a lot of work. Sure tell you that much. <laughs> mm. What a game, bro. <laughs> ah. Wouldn't it be crazy if we came back somehow? He's looking at his possibilities and he figured out he's figured out that he's losing something in this process. He's in the middle of my pawn storm, and he doesn't know what to do. I'd be freaking out too if I was him. <laughs> uh... I'm going to say taking the knight here is more important because we're eyeing his queen. 
Mm, he doesn't have any more checks. I mean, if he goes e2, I take with the knight. If he takes the knight, I take with the bishop. And I'm still attacking his light square bishop as well. I don't know, it just seems like the move. We are shockingly even. Um, I might even come out ahead here, which is kind of wild. Kind of crazy to think about. But my king is so exposed, it's, it's going to be really hard to make a comeback here. My queen is just all but useless. Opponent's taking his time. I still can't believe I fell for that night trap in the last game. It's really messing with my psyche. <laughs> uh, so I've only played like two games of chess over the board. No, three. I've played three over the board and one of those three games was that exact same night trap that i showed at the beginning of the video and i've never seen anyone play that on online so it's bringing back interesting memories um hopefully he just takes with the bishop and i can have his queen and we can just move along with our merry way Now we wait. We wait and we wait and we wait. Okay. So I am thinking of a way to make a comeback. I mean, taking the bishop just seems too easy. I'm still slightly ahead here, which is wild. Uh, what sucks is I can't really get my rook out onto the E square. Um, but I suppose I just so that's defended. Mm. I don't know. I gotta let my queen do something. Maybe I just try to trade off bishops here. Oh. He has check here. Uh, I shouldn't have removed the defender. Uh, no, but I had the queen protecting here. This isn't as bad as it looks, as weird as that is. I have a, a fancy rook move next. Okay, that's fine. I have my rook out on the open file. I'm happy about that. I need to pressure his queen out of here. Man, what a turn of events. <laughs> Game is like an emotional roller coaster at the moment. What I need to remember to do is like, so if I'm looking for knight moves like d5e3, 
Um, I don't want to remove the defender from this pawn. That's something I need to keep in mind. I probably want to move my queen over to something like d2. Just protect the knight. And I probably want to start thinking about something like rook d1, trying to snipe his pawns off one by one. I mean, honestly, it would be fair to even just go for the queen trade here at this point, too. Shoot, even uh, queen e3 and just get a back rank mate would be kind of interesting. If he doesn't play rook d1, I can probably do that. Yeah, I think queen e3 is going to be the next move. I think he has to go something like rook e8. Even then, we'll just trade off, but I can start pressuring him in other ways. Okay, so this is fine. Let me think. Queen e3 takes his rook out. I sack the queen. He takes with the rook. I take with the rook. Mate. He'll probably have to push a pawn up here. Okay. Okay, so let's think this through now. Boom. 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 Okay, so we're like one piece shy here. Now if he takes with the rook, different story. If he moves his rook down here, I can just sack the queen and then look for the rook sack and get back rank mate. Obviously, he's not going to do that because it's protected, but... Yeah, okay. So he, he's figured it out. <laughs> he's he's figured out the plot. <laughs> um, I can just start winning stuff. Can offer the queen trade here. I win a pawn. I'm gonna lose a pawn in the process, but boy, boy, if I could get my knight out onto e7, that would just be sick. That would be pretty sick. Mm hmm Okay. Let me think about this. Boom. Boom. Nope. Can't do it yet. I have to fall back here. I will offer the trade, though. Maybe I just take the pawn, I don't know. That could be a pretty sick move too. I have a lot of really good moves here, I feel. Yeah, d6 is a would be a really good square. 
this may be the first time ever that uh, someone's playing slower than me. I'm not too concerned about the pawn at this point. I'm just going to go for it. I, I just, I like this idea too much. I like the d6 idea a lot. If he wants to push up, uh, I'll just take. Not a big deal. And then, um, honestly, uh, I wouldn't even mind just... Uh, no, I probably don't want to give the queen trade quite yet, but... If he pushes up, I may just push e5. Still protect the pawn but I his queen. I imagine he's going to protect this pawn. Damn. He didn't do it. Well, I'm going to threaten his queen. I'm gonna have to do something. And even the knight's protecting here. I imagine he could probably pin. But I mean, even if he wanted to go for the pin, um, I mean, even this is fine. I wonder if I want to keep pressuring or just do something else. I have a potential for check, so... Hmm. Just check the diags. It's defended. E4 is defended. I probably should just offer the queen trade, I feel. Yeah, we'll see. Depending on what he does next, I also have uh, C5 and threaten A4 as well.
Boom. <laughs> Perfect web of pieces. Not giving up. Gotta give him credit for not giving up. <clears throat> Let's see. No, uh, depending on where he moves, there's a slight chance. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I was just going to make this exact point, is that um, I have the potential for a check and then a fork. And I was what I was going to say was there was a few squares where I could move to, or rather, where he could move his queen to, where I can deliver him check and then take the queen and... Uh, Unfortunately, this is one of those squares. So I'd like to pay respects to his queen. She's done a great job of dancing around. Man, what a what a what a crazy thirty minutes. This one has really, really been a roller coaster. Yeah, obviously, a roll of fork there. So I'm going to be blatantly honest and say that I really messed up on throwing the knight out onto h4. That was a huge blunder. But somehow the pieces were just aligned. And we were able to just find a nice string of moves. Um, let's just look at the position up until we decided to just throw the knight away. So what could we have done here instead, potentially? Sure. So just move the rook onto the same file as his queen. I like this move because it was just a nice little pawn fork. Yeah, it just seemed cool. So what could we have done here? See, what I was expecting from him was to play... Oh no, no, he did do that. He did do that. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking e5 and then check. But obviously he did that. Um, so what could I <coughs> excuse me? What could I have done here instead? Let's find out. Bishop e1. Okay. Okay, and then bishop f6. So he moves the bishop back. Okay. And then rook e5. And then bishop e5 check. f4. Bishop takes on c3. Okay. And bishop takes on c3. Uh, knight f6.
Bishop takes. Queen takes. Queen d1. Okay. So we would have still had a pretty big advantage here, even with the uh, optimal uh, sort of engine moves. Okay. Well, we basically just got really lucky this game. Um, yeah, he had a free pawn here, and this pawn ended up doing a lot of work, uh, shockingly, here on f4. So, and um, yeah, you know, that's why I try, honestly, this is uh, not even trying to be funny here, but this is why I try to never resign games and just play them all the way through uh, at this elo, because you just never know what's going to happen. And this is exactly one of those cases here. So, um, and then, yeah, after that, the sort of advantage was mostly maintained. I was looking for rook, or excuse me, knight d5 for a long time, but um, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it made sense to play it. Um, I like how it played out eventually. Um, I think he kind of made a mistake when he took a defender off of uh, b5. Queen f3, okay. This is so bad, huh? It doesn't hurt you, but it doesn't help you. Why is, uh... Why does the engine want c3? Because I figured that just loses a Pass pawn here. He delivers check. King g3. Okay, rook a6. Okay. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I won't argue with the engine, but... Yeah, really rough uh, last move here. And then the discovered royal uh, fork here. Not discovered royal fork. I guess it's just a royal fork. Also discovered attack on the queen. Um, and a royal fork. Feels good. Yeah. It, it, roller coaster of a game. But uh, this one was pretty fun. And it's always fun to make a comeback after you make a really huge blunder. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.